Hey guys, what's going on? It's your coach, Scotty. I'm fired up, pumped up this morning. It's Tuesday. Um, today, I'm wearing my P90X3 shirt. Extremely proud to be doing this program. 30 minutes a day, absolutely awesome. It's done before you know it. So if you feel like you're short on time, P90X3 or Focus T25 is going to be the workout for you because it's 25, 30 minutes and you're in, out, and done. And I'm feeling good. I'm sweating, uh, breathing hard. It means it was a good workout. Something I want to talk to you guys about today. I did two uh, webinars last night. One of them had... Uh, 500 people in it, the other one had 400 people in it, they were all coaches. Um, this concept I want to teach you guys and talk to you guys about this morning, you can do, it can apply to, if you're a Team Beachbody coach, this can apply to your business. If you're just one of our customers or someone thinking about doing a workout, you can apply this to your own fitness journey, okay? So no matter if you're watching this video for fitness or if you're watching this to build a business, you can apply it to your life either way. Um, in life, if you want to achieve something that somebody else has, has achieved, you have to find mentors. And the biggest thing that I find uh, where people struggle with this is they expect a mentor to, to, um, to make them do things every day, to, to make sure that they show up. And the thing I want to share with you guys about mentors is I have amazing mentors, and you can have the same mentors that I have, okay? As far as in Team Beachbody Business, some of my, my mentors uh, are, of course, my coach, Lindsay Matway. Uh, Carl Deichler, the CEO of Team Beachbody, he's a mentor of mine. Uh, also, I look at Tracy Morrow as a mentor. She's a 15-star diamond, uh, million-dollar earning coach as well. And mentors are somebody that's achieved what you want to achieve. And the thing about mentors that I think that most people don't understand is you do not have to talk to them all the time. You follow their example, and I'll tell you, at least in Team Beachbody, these people are sharing their tips every single day. If you go to Carl Deichler's wall, you can hear him share his tips every single day. I have not been on a personal phone call one-on-one -on -one with Carl Deichler, yet he is a mentor to me because I listen to what he's teaching and I apply it to my business. The same goes with Lindsay. I, yes, fortunately, she is my, my coach, my mentor. I can talk to her when I want, but I don't talk to her that often just when I have a, a simple, small question. A lot of the things that I apply from her are what I see her do, the action that she's taking. I see those, watch those, and then do it myself. Uh, same goes for Tracy as well. So other mentors, I want to tell you guys about two amazing mentors that I had a conversation with today. And you guys are going to think I'm a little bit crazy, but I want you to think about this deeply and apply it in your life. Mentors that I talked to today, Rick Warren from the that wrote the book, The Purpose Driven Wife. Um, also John C. Maxwell. And also Brian Tracy. These are all mentors I feel like I had a personal conversation with today. Mentors can be anybody that's achieved what you want to achieve. These are authors of amazing books, phenomenal leaders. Um, and, and the thing I want you guys to understand about this is that every time I pick up a book, you guys see me reading 52 books this year or listening to 52 books. I, I picked up and read three different books this morning or listened to. And the thing is, is every book that I read, I pretend... Like I'm sitting across the table from John C. Maxwell and the things that he's saying in that book, he's saying them directly to me. So you guys may be thinking that about maybe I'm your mentor in this Team Beachbody business where you look up to me as something you want to achieve in your fitness or in your business. This is my, my thing I have to say to you guys today. I'm listening to these books. I'm reading these books. You guys may be listening to this, trying to learn something and apply something. It's important to know what to do. But it's more important that you do what you know. So every time that you read a book, or you listen to an author, or you listen to a successful coach give a webinar, or do a national call, or do a, do a team call, or do a video like this, it's important that you're listening to this. That's important because you're learning and you're growing. And to continue to increase yourself in life and in your business skills, you have to continue to learn because things are constantly changing. But to truly learn, you have to apply what you're learning. So I challenge you guys to read today, to listen to a national wake-up call today, listen to a team call, listen to this video, and go out and apply what you're learning. That's what a mentor does, is they teach you stuff. They're sharing stuff. You guys see me three times a week or so sharing. I'm, I'm on weekly team calls sharing. And that's important for you guys to listen to that, but it's more important that you act upon what you learn. And I'm going to tell you guys, the key to success and, and this is from one of the things that I learned from Tony Robbins, is that, you know, people are inspired. They're either in deep pain and they're inspired to take action on their life. Whether it's your health transformation, whether you're trying to build a business because you are financially in trouble, just like I was three years ago. You're hurting, you're in trouble, you're in pain. 
So you're inspired to change your life. You take action. Maybe you get a book or maybe you joined as a team beach body coach or maybe you took a risk and got a big investment and you started your own business. Okay. He, Tony Robbins taught me that one out of 10 people that have this experience where they're ready to change their life, buy a book. He said one, it was like one in 10 people read more than they, one in 10 people keep on with this habit. Nine out of 10 of those people stop reading that book after two weeks. They get comfortable with where they were again, or they make excuses for where they're at and why they're there. And I want you guys, as you're, I don't want you to be discouraged by this, what I'm telling you right now. I want you to know that the odds are against you in your, tra in your financial transformation or in your, your fitness transformation. But you have to decide, truly make a commitment. The ones that succeed in life or in their health transformation or in building a business are the people that truly decide. Truly decide that they are not going to be one of those people that picks up the book for two weeks and stops. They're not going to be the person that commits to living a healthier lifestyle and sharing with two or three or four people a day and decide to quit after a few weeks. The ones that succeed are the ones that truly make that commitment and that decision and they continually grow through personal development. They continue to plug in and surround around other people. If you want to be an eagle, you've got to fly with eagles. You've got to stay there. You've got to stay consistent to what you say you're doing. And I've, I'm learning some amazing things in the Purpose Driven Life that if you are true to making a commitment and true to yourself and deciding what your purpose is and finding success in your daily activity and finding fulfillment in what you do every single day, success will follow as you stay committed and consistent in the activity. So I want you guys, as you leave this, this short video today, are you really committed are you going to be one of the nine and ten that just do something for a couple weeks and then decide that you're comfortable with where you're at in your life and make excuses? I'll tell you guys what, I am not going to make excuses ever for my life. I'm going to own my life and I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to work harder than anybody. I'm going to read more books than anybody and I'm going to achieve whatever I, my heart desires in this world. I'm going to live out my purpose and I'm going to make an impact on people for the rest of my life. Uh, yes. I'm thankful for the Team Beachbody for giving me some tools to help people with that, but I will work harder than anybody else. What will you do? What is your decision? What are you truly going to decide to do? Will you be a person of integrity and do what you say you're going to do? All right, see you guys later.